Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a look at the ASUS Hyper M.2 x 16 PCIe card. The ASUS Hyper M.2 x 16 card is basically a single slot expansion card, uh, something like this, there we go. And um, it has a large heatsink, uh, with a built-in fan, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, it has the LEDs for uh, four, up to four uh, M.2 connectors here, and the power for the fan on and off. So I've taken the screws off already. And as you can see, it's a nice large heatsink. You can see there's the uh, thermal pads that there, and then you got the uh, casing where the fan sits here, and it glows the uh, airflow all right so on the PCIe card you can see there's the fan for extra cooling and then there's also one two three four four m.2 connectors so we can have a full length PCIe uh, expansion and SSDs as well most of the uh, SSDs that we uh, encounter the uh, uh, m.2 ones are the 2280 and they got the smaller ones as well. But yeah, you can fit four, up to four uh, M.2 um, PCIe expansion SSDs and uh, um, pretty impressive. And this sits all into a PCB, which uh, is actually full 16 times PCIe slot. All right, um, we'll be mounting one of these. This is the uh, Patriot Hellfire 240 gig uh, PCIe 3x4 uh, N. VME version 1.2. So we'll be mounting this onto the uh, expansion card and then putting that into the uh, system to test. We'll also be testing this and mounting the, um, the expansion card onto the, uh, the Zotac uh, Amp Box Mini. So we actually did a video the other week and we actually mounted the graphics card in here. And uh, we'll be mounting the, uh, the Zeus Hyper M.2 card into this and uh, we'll have an external uh, SSD storage and that then connects to a Thunderbolt. So that's the main feature of the Ampbox Mini. So imagine I can have this card now with four uh, M.2 SSDs here connected and then mount that uh, into this box. This expansion card does support RAID, it's the Intel VROC support and it's only available on the X299 chipset motherboard. So, uh, um, you need one of those. So even just for normal expansion, I think this card is pretty cool. You get four M.2 connectors. Yeah, so uh, we'll be giving it a test and uh, do a quick unboxing. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the video and we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we have the uh, Hyper uh, M.2, the ASUS Hyper M.2 16 times card. It's a PCIe expansion card with the M.2 connectors. Uh, giving you full support for RAID, uh, VROC if you've got the uh, X299 chipset or just a standalone expansion card up to 4 times M.2 uh, SSD. So okay, let's take a look. All right, you have the uh, quick start guide and then it's the actual PCI expansion card itself. Um, then there's the um, screws, the uh, M.2 connector screws there mounts so you get four of them there yep one two three four all right so let's take a look at the card a closer look all right there you have it's a nice um, large heat sink here there we have the uh, full length 16 times pci slot we have the uh, hyper m.2 times 16 pci card nice logo here and um, just a plain PCB at the back here. There go four screw mounts on the, each corner, which you need to take off to reveal the uh, M.2 um, connectors. All right, so let's quickly take the, uh, the screws off and uh, show you what's inside the uh, actual card. So let's start off with the uh, the heat shield, heat sink. 
Uh, it's very large, uh, covers the whole PCIe card. Uh, there's four thermal pans, as you can see, that's uh, ready then for your SSDs. Um, you can see there's uh, grills and holes kind of like feed the air through, airflow through, very nice. And then there's the hole there, which actually runs there for the fan. Okay, and the actual card itself, let's take a closer look. Um, yeah, we've got the fan there, that gives you extra cooling. We've got four M.2 connectors right here. Uh, you can have the full length, uh, otherwise the uh, 2280, which is basically uh, what most SSDs are in their form factor. All right, um, that's pretty much it. In the uh, front kind of aisle here, you can see there's the um, uh, four LED for the M.2s and also the uh, fan switch on and off. Um, there's no RAID support, uh, native RAID support on the card. The, uh, the RAID support, if you need it, is the Intel VORC on the uh, X299 chipset. Um, but I'm sure you can work around some, uh, some software which allows you to do some sort of software RAID. But um, yeah, otherwise it will be just uh, four M.2 connectors up to four uh, PCIe SSDs. That should give you nice performance as well um, with the uh, 16 times PCIe card. Um, I will be mounting this onto our AMP box uh, mini as well as straight into the uh, PCIe slot as well to compare the performance. So this is the uh, ASUS Hyper M.2 16 card and we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're ready to mount our SSD onto our PCIe card. Uh, we have the uh, Patriot uh, Hellfire M.2 SSD. It's the uh, PCIe 3x4, it's the NVMe 1.2, uh, 240 gig. All right, let's, uh, let's begin. Alright, so our ASUS M.2, uh, the Hyper M.2 16 card is loaded with one PCIe uh, M.2 SSD, um, but uh, yeah, it's already there, I can see that, uh, the Hellfire, the Patriot Hellfire SSD right connected there. Um, so we're ready to mount this onto our uh, AMP box mini. Right, so we actually mounted the the ASUS uh, Hyper M.2 Times 16 card with the uh, Hellfire Patriot Hellfire SSD, the M.2 SSD, and uh, you can see if it's just about inside the AMP box mini, uh, with about probably half an inch of space at the end here. Um, but yeah, we got the riser card, the 16 times riser card. That actually uh, was not a problem. That's fine. And uh, now we need to do is plug this in, power it up and see how it performs on the Thunderbolt and we'll be comparing this uh, performance with the uh, standard PCIe time 16 slot performance as well. So let's uh, close this up and uh, give it a blast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and leave a comment below. You can actually buy the ASUS Hyper M.2 card uh, via the links down there. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website. Until then, this is Winston for FunkyGit.com.